Hi friends, this is take three because of accidental dress and just how do I make films? Anyway, look, you can see it. It's a box. There's some of these, there's that. There's an old fashioned made with these new chocolate bitters that I got. It's really funky and delightful. I mean, funky is just like unusual because when does an old fashioned taste like chocolate? Anyway, taking this off screen to really for reals not show any addresses and open it up. <laughs> um, there is a note inside. We will be very careful not to show things. So here it is. Um, hey Marie, I really hope you enjoy these inks. Diablo is a nice color, but I'm going to reformulate it before it gets a true release. I doubt that you need another plain blue, but I've included a sample anyway. Matthew. So, the, I got inks from Matthew at the wet pen. If you don't watch Matthew, you really should. I love his videos. He's been doing these, like, um special like he went to japan and he's getting the store special inks that you can only get there which is so dope and i want to go to japan and definitely definitely doing that so here's the little sample he gave in this cute little file oh my goodness throwback blue and then now look did i need this ink absolutely i don't have enough ink i don't know if you know that but basically i have an ink desert <clears throat> for some value of desert that means actually there's quite a lot okay first off copious bubble wrap always exciting for those of you that like it Pop, pop, hope no one sees me getting freaky. Let's look at this. These are gorgeous. The packaging is beautiful. It's like uh, metallic-y. Not Metallica, that's different. Anyway, this is a sticker. It is phenomenal. A plus. I do keep my little whatchamacallums. I'm gonna go get a thing to do the thing with that thing gotten. So I got four colors plus the sample. Let's get five of these. Let's go, go, go. Oh, <laughs> funny, I put this on backwards. <laughs> How many is this? You know what I should do? I should tribute to Matthew and get like a bunch of samples and cut them to these, a bunch of papers and cut them to these dimensions but I won't. Like, I don't have time for that. I'm busy with doing not doing other things. Yes, that's it. Busy with not doing other things. So, oh, I didn't get any water. <sighs> Sloppy and unprofessional. Water has been acquired. Had this big old candle. Decided to like save the thing. If you wanna save the things, you put it in the freezer because then the wax, I mean, burn it as much as you can, put it in the freezer, your wax contracts and you can just pop the little thing out. Okay, so I got four colors. Diablo Lake, Elliott Bay, Blackberry, and Western Trillium. And throwback blue. Elliott Bay was certainly from one of the first one, batches that he made. I mean, this isn't from the first batch, but the first set of inks he did. Okay, I gotta get my actual knife. <sighs> Life is full of struggles today. I am struggling. So we will be very careful with this knife. I'm just like, I don't want to ruin the pretty packaging. But I also don't want to cut my hand off. I don't know how I'd cut my hand off. What if we just open them all right now? We got one open. All right, I did cut the box slightly. Nobody tell. Okay, look at the bottle. Mm-hmm, 
Nice. This reminds me of the Arbonne 1670 bottle I have, but I don't know that it's the same. Lovely. I love this logo. The wet pin because he's in the Pacific Northwest. Also, I think he likes juicy writers. Now, I'm going to pause and, and do the rest of these so we don't have to sit through all that. Fantastic. It actually didn't take long. The first one was the biggest struggle, as usual. Um, if you don't know what I mean by struggle, it comes from drunken video games. Don't worry about it. So let's get the good old Hobonichi going. Where are we? I have no idea the day. Is it July? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's July. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's like the third week of July. What day is it? Okay. We got Elliot Bay. How do we do this? How do we ink? Let's not put the water right next to the drink. If that's making you nervous, fear not. It is also making me nervous. Mm. It's so crazy how chocolatey it tastes. I mean, it's chocolate bitters, yeah, but you know. Who coats the, this nib nicely. Also, my nails are in a rough state. I did just get some new nail polish coming. I just ordered it. I don't know when it'll get here. Okay, so on this, it feels, hmm, it's a little more viscous, saturated. I'm going to use my Hikoro, but I think I'll use my glass stick for this. I, I have not fixed it. I will never fix it. Turns out. This seems to be going on thickly. Thickly? That's a word, isn't it? Oh, I should have wrote it over here. Wah, wah. You know what the name Elliot just made me think of? E.T. I saw that as a kid, I think in the theaters, and that movie was terrifying. First off, E.T. looked like a booger, and that was gross. And then also, those creepy men in the white uniforms at the end, like coming after them, that terrified me. Okay, so this is interesting. It, I think those just got a lot on them and they were acting weird. Oops, oops. Just a happy little accident, friends. Oh no, don't get it on the bottom, Maria. There's still some wax down there. Shh, Nike. Okay. I think the color might do neat stuff while it's drying, so right here. So far, love it. Early days, my new favorite ink. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding about that, but I do like it. Weird because it's now acting like way waterier waterier yep we said it okay oh 
beautiful color. What does this remind me of? One of the Andorillion bird ones. Blue Jay or something. Love it. Did I do the things I meant to do? I did it on that. Oh, did you do all my cat cards? One moment. I got the cat cards. a lot on here. Hmm, I'm excited to use these. Oh, look at it changing. It's got some green going on. If you don't see green, it's a sure sign that the camera is lying. Oh, I like that noise. Cleaning out the brush. Beautiful. Now we can move on. Yeah, do you see like little hints of green coming through? I adore it. A++. I kind of want to like put the on here, but I did that once and I kind of hate it. I like it, but I also hate it because I didn't do it on all of them. So that's LA a bit. And onward and upward, come over here to Diablo Lake. I live near Mount Diablo. And by near, I mean, you know, it's in this state. No, it's not that far. I, uh, it's large. I mean, not tall but like sprawling. So let's do this. It's, it's easiest. Do you have any of the inks from Matthew at the wet pen? Also, do you already watch Matthew at the wet pen? I'm curious. Oh my goodness gracious. I did not need this color, but I needed this color. This yeah, I love it. This would be a good nail polish. Thank you. Take it. We have and rearranging things here. What was this called? What do you, what's your name? Diablo Lake. I'm pretty sure this is not based on anything near Mount Diablo. <laughs> oh, that O is crap. Need a little more? Beautiful. Good job, Maria. You managed to write. So quiet, aren't I? Did I tell you I made cherry pie today? I did. I mean, I did make it. I don't know if I told you still. have not tried it yet it's still cooling and you cannot slice pie until it has cooled completely if you want warm pie you reheat that pie 
This is gonna be a detriment to future you. If you don't wait till it's cool completely, okay? Oh, I forgot this one. I gotta pull these out so they're with the other ones, okay? So you can lay it on this, lay it on this. Let's go. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure about how I did on the crust. I feel like I added too much water. But I bake the little crust leftovers. I sprinkle cinnamon sugar on them and then um, bake them. And those turned out okay. So maybe the pie will be all right. I had fun. When I, I made a lattice top, because you just kind of do with cherry, it needs to have the, needs to vent some way or another. It's better with more vents. So a lattice top is an easy way to accomplish that. And um, let me tell you a secret. I have a ruler that I bought just for the kitchen. It's my kitchen ruler. So I measured those strips for the lattice, which is silly because my partner actually has one of those like stretchy things that cuts. If you know, you know, and if you don't know, I don't think I can explain it well enough. But, um, so I'm sure if he saw me, he, he would have said like, what are you doing? I have this, the thing. but it's fine. Anyway, I recommend a kitchen ruler. I actually got one that's made for sewing. It's two inches wide, 18 inches long and super flexible. I use it like how much, how big do I have to roll a thing out? And you can put it, since it's plastic, you can easily wash it. It's brill. Okay, next up we have either Western Trillium or Blackberry. I'm going with Western Trillium. Now, he said Diablo Lake he's reformulating before he re-releases it. So, it wouldn't be the same if I bought it again. I'm okay with that. Especially since he said that. You know what I mean? I don't love it if a company's like, hey, here, it's the same thing. And it's just, like, not the same thing. <clears throat> I'm not saying it's dark lilac, but... <clears throat> um. You know, or slag gray. Oh, goodness gracious. Amanda's getting a sample of this if she didn't get it for herself. <laughs> I don't know if it's, a, if it's Amanda color. It's not exactly purple. That got down into the, that's fine. Okay. Doesn't matter, does it? Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. What was this called again? Western Trillium? Yeah. Western Trillium makes me think of Trillian from Hitchhiker's Guide. Not the same at all. Did I somehow like smooth the tip of this and not realize it? Maybe? Maybe. Juicy. I want to ink pens with these like right now. This reminds me of a slightly like desaturated or waterier California, Sailor California, without having that card here to look. Or Yodo maybe from uh, Wrangle. Why do I keep doing that? I purpose. It's fine. It's fine, everybody. It's fine. Western Trillium. I'm going to need so much space for that. I'm going to need two lines. What if I do Trillium first? I can't. went up a little. It's 
So I think I discovered or like realized why I'm more prone to making like writing mistakes when I'm writing this way. Cause I'm hard, I'm, I'm not like, I'm thinking about how every letter is formed. It's not like a fluid writing for me because I'm not very good at it. Not second to nature. Yet. Buzz. Red. Um. Even this side feels better. Mm. Nice. This reminds me of, ooh, wine. Mm-hmm, 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 yeah. Like a, a Merlot, maybe. Maybe a Cab. Probably not something called wine, but like actual wine. Cause you know how they're different. Things called wine are always redder. But wine after it sits in your glass is more like this. If this were nail polish, I think I'd call it self-leveling. <laughs> and if you know nail polish, you'll know what I mean. If you don't, I'm sorry. Oh, it may remind me. Yeah, oh, I love it. I'm so happy about this. Last, that's not a sample, is Blackberry or Blackberry. If you're from somewhere else, it says it that way. We have each of these. We got these, we got this. Alrighty, righty, righty. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This has so much fun stuff going on. Matthew, you've knocked it out of the park. I did it again. I told myself, don't clean it off. You're gonna need it. <laughs> no, I already forgot. <laughs> it's because you get in the habit, you know what I mean? You're not, yeah, you're just doing things by rote. Oh, it's time for me to clean. Complain about the texture of this paper again. <laughs> I would not have bought these again if I had known the paper would be like this. It is so awful for pointed pen, especially as a lefty. doing funky lettering today. I almost cleaned it, but I remembered. 
Are you all proud of me right now? I'm pretty proud of me. I love blackberries. A lot of them grow wild here. They're an invasive um, crop all over the trails. And when you hike at this time of year, there are many ripe berries. And my partner makes fun of me and does not particularly love that I like to eat the berries. <laughs> he thinks I should not be doing that because of, I don't know, like maybe he's afraid of, some people are afraid of like animals going to the bathroom on them, but like they're at like head height. So, you know, not many animals are that tall that they're peeing that high, except for man. And we are animals. Um, they're delightful. We also get a lot of olali berries here, which is a hybrid of, if I recall, hybrid of a blackberry and a boysenberry, which itself is a hybrid. So, hybrid of a hybrid. <clears throat> and finally, We'll go with our sample here, which is Throwback Blue. Ooh, this looks like a very bright blue. Which, I don't know how many of these I actually have, to be honest. Oh, y'all. We're gonna test something. We're gonna compare it. Oh, cleaned it again. If we compare it right now, we'll wait, we'll let this dry. It's a very vibrant blue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dang it. No more. I don't know if you can hear when the this pen gets stuck on there. It's very irritating. Okay, those, all the samples are over there drying. We will close this up. And, oop, let's get the towels to the floor. Tribute to Amanda. No paper towels were harmed in the filming of this video. 
um, No, not quite. This is the notorious blue. If you know, you know. This is throw, throwback. Something I really am appreciating is I don't see red sheen. I don't see any sheen on these, which I like. If we look at this, Blackberry and Western Trillium are pretty similar. I'm getting some haloing around the letters on Western Trillium that I suspect is just going to show up when you have more ink. Though, even when it went drier, it's got some. It's a little lighter and maybe a little more towards mauve. Elliott Bay is all I had hoped it would be. This throwback blue is amazing, and now I kind of might go see if there's more. We can look at our cats. So these two look really similar. Really incredibly similar. To me. I'll have to get them in pins. I think they didn't look dissimilar on the site and I just was like, eh, I won't regret it. If I like this color, I won't regret having both. Uh, I love these two. Now, these don't always show the color the best, but gosh, do I love these cards. They're just too cute. I got them, I originally got them from Ink Flight and then I know that Atlas Pins has them now. And uh, a bunch of my friends have coats for Atlas. Um, I know for sure that Amanda and Simone do. So if you're thinking of getting something, it might be good to use one of their coats. I don't remember what it gets you, if I'm honest. But it certainly helps them, and they're wonderful people. So <laughs> there it is. What do we think? This this is still drying the letters. They are different on here. Just slightly. This looks slightly cooler to me. These two, though. Oh, I mean, is it a surprise that I really love the blues? I don't think so. Um, let's zoom out so you can see the mess. We'll put kitties up here. I don't do kitties for my samples, just for my bottles. Because, you know, that's the way it is. Um, here we are. This is my little holly haul. I am not about, I'm trying not to like do all the like, I got new stuff videos because, you know, quite frankly, it can be a lot, you know, and I never want people to think they have to get stuff because you can get by. Like this is one of the best pens. <laughs> it's preppy. I love it. <laughs> It's like how, how much I got one for free that I, oh, look, there's ink in there. I still haven't used, um, with an order from jet pins, love jet pins too. Anyway, um, but I have to share cause Matthew with the wet pen is another person on YouTube and he makes really great videos. And now it turns out he makes really great ink and I like to support pen friends, even if they're ones who don't really know me. <laughs> So I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.